Hey everybody, just a quick video to show you how to shorten the Sony MDR headphone cable. It's incredibly long. I know a lot of people like myself use it for location sound work and find it getting in the way. I found this super easy tip on YouTube the other day with a video that didn't actually show you how to do this. It just explained how to do it. So uh, I just want to make this quick demo to show you how easy it is to get this cable a little shorter. What you do is you take the straight part of the cable, this long straight part like this, and fold it in half so that the coiled section is up by the ear cups. Then all you have to do is wrap the coiled section around your folded straight section, which essentially cuts the cable length in half right off the top. You might have a little kind of wonky part at the end of your cable like I do, so the first part might be a little bit tricky, but then once you get going, you can really sort of fly through this. One thing to keep in mind is that this top part that you're wrapping will essentially act like a straight cable. It won't act like a coiled cable anymore. So as you'll see, we're working down here towards a loop. That loop and below is gonna remain the coiled cable. So just keep that in mind as you're going. It's possible to make things really tight up here and get your cable really short, but then you might lose some of the length and the springiness of a coiled cable that you want. So once your length is pretty dialed in, you're gonna find that loop again, push the coiled section up, give yourself a nice workspace here, take the end of the cable and just pull it through. This will keep everything in place, it'll keep that top section fixed and allow you to have a nice springy section here at the bottom. And then you can just work your coils around a little bit until everything looks and feels smooth and you've got the length you want. So at this point, you are good to go. You've got a functional but much shorter cable with uh, no soldering, no tools, no uh, custom work. And yeah, I think you're gonna find it super, super helpful. For more of my work, you can visit the website fieldnoise.com. There it is. And thanks a lot for watching.